All right, I'm about to do one of the coolest things that I have ever done. I found out about the soft launch, not the grand opening, but the insider's opening for a brand new donut shop in Provo, Utah on Center Street called Spudniks. So clearly it's gonna be made with potato flour. So I found out through the grapevine, through some peoples in an MBA program uh, who were invited, and I'm gonna go sneak in with them. And uh, it's, you know, just a set of donuts until they set out or sell out as they soft lunch. So my daughter and I are gonna go down there and be the first people to ever try Spudniks in Provo, Utah. And we will give you a review coming up. Go ahead. We are going over to um to Spud. Wait, what's the name? Spudnik. Spudnik. We're going. We're walking over to Spudnik, and we're gonna look at some awesome donuts and and the furniture. Okay, I think this situation feels very surreal to me because just last night I was uh, invited to a TEDx conference. And it was amazing because it was all black tablecloths, red carpet as I walked in, people wearing their, their best clothes, their best formal clothes. And, and it felt just like a, a really, um, you know, black, it wasn't black tie, but it just felt like a, what, I don't even know what you call that. Anyway, anyway, just like a total, like cool VIP event. And, and it was interesting that in the middle of this VIP event with red carpets and black tablecloths and everything else, that uh, they broke halfway through to give us donuts, like gourmet donuts from a new donut place that was, that was in town. And so here I am at this practically black tie affair with, you know, donuts from, from a premier place. And it's not less than 24 hours later that I get this email uh, that was, you know, kind of on the down low about how there's going to be this soft launch of this new place that I've been looking forward to. So I, I honestly feel like I'm going to like a like a club, you know. Uh, I watch a lot of television where everybody's always in the club. Well, this is kind of feels like I'm going to the club, you know, this little secret gathering of people, bump, 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 music, all that stuff. Anyway, here we go. We'll see how it is. Okay, here we are. We just came inside and there's donuts on little platforms that are spinning in a circle. Which one looks the yeah, coolest and to you? Yeah, I was the first one to notice that they were spinning. You uh, did know. And I was like, Dad, the donuts are spinning. Yes, they are. Let's get pictures. Yeah, we got a guy in a space suit. That's so awesome. Okay, here I am with Josh Kunzler, an MBA student at, at BYU, and we're at the new Spudnik Donuts. So how did this place come to be? You know, just a stroke of inspiration. Uh, you know, always loved donuts. I grew up in Portland, Oregon, where, uh, you know, you've obviously got like a donut mecca there with voodoo donuts and blue star donuts and some awesome donut concepts. Uh, we used to go to Voodoo Donuts in the evening um, when they uh, would sell the buckets of donuts for like a buck at the end of the day. Like instead of throwing out the donuts, they would throw them into a bucket and sell them. So always loved donuts, grew up on donuts. And I just thought that Utah needed like an awesome, like fun, quirky donut shop. So yeah, we're here on Center Street opening tonight. And with the name Spud, does that mean it's made with potato flour? And yeah. how'd you make that choice? Yeah, yeah. So it's a it's a potato donut, so you'll have to kind of taste the difference. But it's a little more dense, a little sweeter, and uh, they actually stay a little bit longer. So, yeah. Okay. And I heard you just saying that uh, in addition to the variety of space-themed flavors right there, that there will yeah. be different flavors sometimes. Right, exactly, yeah. So we'll have kind of a rotating menu that will change on a recurring basis on a weekly basis so uh yeah so we'll keep this menu for the next week and a half or so but yeah come easter week we'll have some new easter flavors so do you have do you have a question for him maddie maddie what's your favorite donut rotating that um the strawberry nebula do you know what a nebula is in here it's a space thing. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you, she actually said it better than I did. I was like, That's great. she said new tabula. I was like, nut tabula. I, I knew what it was, but <laughs> yeah. anyway, that was awesome. Yeah. And then I, I also overheard you saying that over here in the cabinet that there is some, yeah. uh, how yeah. do you say that? Chocolate Prepare. spud chocolate milk? Exactly, oh, yeah. I want to get that. So this is this. potato chocolate milk okay. to pair with your potato donut. And this so is, if you've never had this, is from Reed's Dairy up in Idaho, the, the the potato state. So we source these and bring them down here just because it's super fun to drink a potato chocolate milk with your potato donut. That's so they awesome. put potato flakes in there and it makes it super creamy and uh, it's the best chocolate milk. So. Okay, we're definitely trying that. Yeah. All right, last question, which would, which will, well, maybe two questions. Uh, one is of the six that are rotating right there, which one would be your favorite? You know, I've got to go for the little green man. Really? Yeah. The okay. pistachio raspberry. I'm a sucker for anything pistachio. Okay, I love so pistachio. Pistachio too. raspberry white chocolate. It's pretty awesome. Okay, awesome. All right, then last question. Any long-term visions of, of this business? Yeah. Yeah. You know, obviously this is day one, so we want to kind of settle in here. We'll be, this is a soft launch today here uh, on March 24th. Um, and then we're going to be running a Kickstarter campaign to help us pay for some of the exterior signage as we kind of complete the build out here. And then we hope to have a grand opening in about a month or two and expand the hours, expand the menu and everything. And, uh, and then, you know, this is this is uh, location number one. Hope to expand it from there. Awesome. So. We'll be back. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. clouds get turned into a squirrel. And then there's also birds and things and a laser and a juice and a laser 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 and a